my name is Kaisa and I work at Vattenfall as a business developer and a project manager. And I've been the project manager for the installation of the, this battery you can see here behind. So welcome inside to the container. Inside you can find a lot of power electronics. There are inverters converting the DC current from the batteries to AC current delivered to the grid. There is also a controller, which is the brain of the battery, which enables this smart steering of the battery. Here you can see the individual battery packs. There is a total number of 24 battery packs, and they're usually used in BMW i3 cars. So each package has 42 kilowatt hours. And this last picture shows the PV plant, which is installed in Boli den Bersa, and the, the battery storage can also store the energy from produced by the PV. Uh, I would like to give some examples of how battery storages can be used uh, in the grid to provide services regarding uh, integration of renewable energy and how to increase electrification. So if we start with renewable energy, as you all know, it's a variable production source. Uh, and uh, the idea with the batteries here is that you store uh, store power when the production is high and then you can release it into the grid when the consumption is high. And when you have a lot of renewables, there is also a larger need for grid services to keep the grid stable and to keep the frequency stable. And this can also be provided by battery storage. And the battery behind here at Bersa will be used for that as well. There is also a need for grid reinforcement and instead of traditional grid reinforcements sometimes a battery storage can be used instead and by traditional reinforcements i mean uh, overhead cables secondary substations and things like that for example we have a project in gotland where we're gonna provide an e-road with power and instead of building a new secondary substation that will only be operated for one or two years we have a similar container to this one, just a little bit smaller, uh, which will provide the power to the e-road, and then it can be moved elsewhere when the project is finished. So by that, we save both time and resources. Another example of that is, for example, if you have seasonal use uh, or variation in power. For example, in ski resorts, you have a large peak demand during winter time, and then you can move the battery to uh, for example, Ore during the winter time to provide some extra stability to the grid. And then during summertime, maybe you move it to Visby in Gotland and provide the service there. I would also like to mention peak shaving, which is a good way to reduce the pressure of the grid, which can enable further electrification of other parts of the industry or maybe to electrify transport. Here on the upper right side you can see a mobile battery storage that Vattenfall is developing together with Northvolt. And the idea here is that it's going to be a scalable mobile battery that can replace diesel gensets. So instead of the diesel gensets you get a clean and quiet energy source. On the lower left side you can see a battery that is combined with chargers for electric vehicles. And in some places where you have a weak grid connection or it's a remote location, but you still want to enable the service charging of, of uh, transport or vehicles, then this is a very good solution. There is also a need of batteries as a UPS, so uninterruptible power source, at, for example, data center, as you can see in this picture. And the last picture is of the storage that you can see behind me here. And the storage at Bolle den Bergsa will provide both grid services, peak shaving, and other services. And then I would just like to add a few words about power as a service. So Vattenfall has a contract with Bolle den Bersa for a period of time. Uh, so Bersa pays a monthly fee and uh, can use the battery, while Vattenfall takes care of everything around the battery, installation, uh, management, and this can enable the use of batteries without taking a large initial risk because the initial investment is quite large. And this can also enable Bolid and Bersa to focus on their core business because sometimes the knowledge about batteries isn't that big and then Vattenfall can help to provide that service.